Welcome back, it's Rem and here we are for the uh, August 16th game versus the Kansas City, Kansas Chiefs Royals. Uh, we got No Syndergaard versus Zach Eflin, we're going to be doing an interleague matchup here. So we'll be uh, fixing the lineups a little bit, I don't think I have my lineups correctly made for interleague play, especially with DH. Uh, so let's get it started and you know we'll just keep with the jerseys they want me to play with. We're going to Kauffman Stadium. See, we got. We'll move things around here. Uh, he's a righty, so you know what? Let's put in Dominic Smith in left field. We'll switch that. Dominic Smith does play left field in real life now, so that's the very, very big advantage uh, for the Mets. Uh, let's see, McNeil Ramos. Let's put in Conforto here. Uh, and then Cano. Nemo de Ramos. Okay, I like it. Okay, alright. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Everyone scored in already. Ah. Uh. I did not realize I was not playing. Oh wait, I should, I'm good. I should be good. Fine. Uh, come on. We are not making any progress here, guys. It's still two nothing, and that's all we got. <laughs> The guards looks okay. Once he starts putting people on like that, uh, we might have to do pitching change. Let's put in it's a righty Lugo. All right, there you go. Uh, got out of it. Uh, let's see. Let's put in our one of one of our setup men. There you go. Well, Alonzo, do something. A oh, walk is fine. Uh, with a walk, double, there you go, two runs scored, I like it. Walk, come on, Dominic. Ah, struck out, walk, base load from McNeil, ground out, damn it. Alright, that's okay, we're gonna put in Diaz to shut things down. And we win 4-2, to two. Diaz with his 30th save, Noah Syndergaard uh, gets the win, and the play of the game with a 6.2, uh, 6 and 2 thirds innings pitched. Seven hits, one earned run, seven strikeouts. Uh, so that is the ball game for the Mets. Starting strong against Kansas City. And uh, next game we're gonna have Dallas Keuchel versus who is this? Danny Duffy. And Dallas looking for his 14th win of the season. All right, it's a righty. We will change things according. It's a lefty. Who can we have lead off? Mm. We're gonna have, who's a really good righty hitter that I have? Uh, oh, why is Pete Alonso not playing first base? Well, Dominic Smith is. I could have him play DH, that's fine with me. Uh, let's put on the guard. This is be a risky move. Larry, shortstop. Who's using my shortstop? Oh, McNeil is. What the hell? Um, okay, so let's get started. Come on, guys. The base hit something, guys. Come on. Okay, a base run is okay, I guess. Man, Lucas Duda, get out of here. Come on, we need to do something. It's the fifth inning. There you go. Finally, first base hit. There you go. Yeah, those two sides squeezing tie things up. 
Uh, all right, a two-run homer by Dominic Smith. And we're up 3-1. Oh, they just tie things right up. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Lugo. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on, Dominic. They're on home run. That's the second home of the game, and we're up 6 4. Dominic Smith. And then the Guardians with a triple. Alonzo with a sack fly, making it 8 4 now. All right. Change. He is a righty, so let's put in Kimbrough. Alright, got out of that. Double, fly up. Ah. Change, so let's put in green. Get that save with Diaz. Let's go. Boom. One, two, three. We went eight to five. That is fantastic. Dominic Smith, the player of the game with five RBIs and two home runs. Diaz gets his 31st save. Seth Lugo gets his seventh win. He's been Mr. Dependable for me for the bullpen for the most part. Um, I think he's probably given up a few, um, a few games for us. But look at that seven and two from the bullpen. I'll take it. Uh, so we're on a three-game winning streak here. And before we start the next game, and the Nationals are four and a half back now. Wow. They kind of just fell apart. And ever since we beat them in that series, they've been a little bit more behind. Uh, so let's take a wild card here. It's Pirates and Nationals. Phillies are half a game, sort of the Cardinals. Uh, so things are getting a little tight uh, in terms of injury. We got Yohan Assess, but it's coming back um, within one to six days. Uh, three days left in the uh, DL, so uh, we'll be waiting for him. And we've been succeeding so far since he's gotten hurt, so I'm okay with it. Uh, so next game we'll be playing is in Michael Waka versus Ian Kennedy. Ian Kennedy's five and nine uh, with 3.8 ERA. Michael Waka is 12 and five with 3.1 ERA. Uh, so see you guys in Kansas City for the sweep. Ooh, that's going to be a, a double pop. Looks like Conforto as it hits the wall. And he's going to be safe at second. As Alonzo makes it to third base. So two outs here in the first inning. Watch hitting by Michael Conforto. Here in the first inning. One, two to O'Hearn. Got him with the cutter. Inning over. Got the bottom of the zone. And was able to just convince the umpire. There's a strike. There you go. Wow, let's go. That's going to be a double for Jeff McNeil. Here in the third inning, no outs. I don't know what Darnell was doing, but he was not moving. He wasn't going to be caught. That was so weird. Three and two to Bonavacio. Got him with a circle change. He doesn't believe it. Two and two to those here. Got him with a cutter. Back to back strikeouts for Waka here in the third. That's another strikeout for Waka striking at the side. So he makes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. There you go. That's a good base hit by the Garis. 
Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Wow, a heads up play by Conforto as he runs straight to second base, the third base on a two out hit by Lagares. Two on two to Renfro. That's a swing and a miss and a circle change inside. Ready on one and two. That's a shot by Nemo! Digs it out deep! And it's out of here! And that breaks the 0 0 tie here in the sixth inning! Brandon Nemo with a clutch home run off Ian Kennedy, spoiling his 100th win possibly this game. I did not think I got all of that until I saw his swing, but wow! That went deep here in Coffin Stadium. That was just a low pitch. Good, Good swing by Nemo to tattooed. get Ian Kennedy for a home run. Ooh, got him with a circle change. That is a big strikeout for Walker. Nope. Base is loaded situation. Oh, her pops it up. And finishes the inning, 1 0. That's probably going to be the game for him. Great pitching for Michael Walker this game. Six innings, two hits, one walk, no runs, and seven strikeouts. One, two to Lucas. Oh, Chad Green. Oh, gives it the home run, so it's now a tie game. Come on, Chad. There you go. That's a base hit. That's going to send Alonzo at least home. And Conforto running third. Plate to plate. No, no throw. And it's going to be 3-1 Mets here in the eighth. That's a two-run double by Robinson Cano here in the eighth inning. Wow, Robinson Cano. Clutch for the Mets. Coming to the plate, one Ligaris. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The base hit. We're gonna have Cano round third. Plate the plate, and he's gonna be safe. It's a four-one match. Just an RBI single for Juan Ligaris. Take that inside pitch. Going up the middle. One, two. It's going to be a grounder. No. For Alonzo. And the ball game's over. The Mets win 4 to 1. It was great pitching by Walker. Unfortunately, Chad Green gave up that home run to Lucas Duda. Robinson Cano was able to pull out a really great hit. Going to opposite field. For a two-run double, give the Mets a lead. Lagares had the lead with an RBI single of his own. The bullpen shut things down after Chad Green. And Diaz with another save. It's unfortunate that uh, Michael Walker did not get the win because he pitched fantastic minus you know his last inning, but. That's okay. The Mets are now uh, 75 and 49, so I'll take it. And we're going to win these games here. Okay, so we're back, and it looks like we are now 75 and 49. We got Cleveland coming into the uh, into City Field, and we got Corey Kluber against Zach Wheel in the next episode. We'll be doing a quick match for that. Uh, so that wraps things up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to click that like button. Leave any comments below and subscribe. And click that notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.